When I was in the process of quitting smoking weed and quitting using nicotine products, one of the worst side effects of withdrawal that I experienced was irritability and anger. And I'm sure if you've ever tried to quit smoking weed before, if you're struggling with an addiction, or you've tried to quit smoking cigarettes or vaping nicotine products, this is something that you've dealt with. In today's video, I wanna review 10 tips for you guys to help you manage irritability and anger when you're quitting an addiction. If you're new to the channel, my name's Dr. Frank, and I help people quit addictions that I once struggled with. Nicotine, THC, energy drinks, and adult media content. So if you need help with that, feel free to give a subscription to the channel. I'm gonna browse through tips number one and two pretty quickly because we talk about them a lot on this channel, would be, Use the mindset of not viewing quitting as that you're giving something up. So a lot of people become irritable when they quit vaping or when they quit smoking weed or even when they quit drinking alcohol because they're under the impression that they're making a sacrifice or that they're giving something up. Of course, if you're feeling that you're depriving yourself of something, you're gonna become more irritable. So remember, Quitting an addiction is about all of the things that you're going to gain back in life. Think of all the areas in your life that addiction might have damaged. Your finances, your relationship, your physical health, your mental health. This is a time that you should get excited about all the things you're going to gain back in life, not upset or irritable over something that you're quote unquote giving up. Tip number two, which kind of goes hand in hand with tip number one, is stop trying to recreate the old times. Stop trying to chase after the first time you got high or the first time you got drunk and accept the reality of the current situation that you're in. It is absolutely impossible at this point in your life, if you're struggling with active addiction, to recreate that first time you got high. And the more and more times you try and recreate that, the more and more frustrated and the more and more irritable you're going to become because you're chasing after something that doesn't exist. And of course, if you're chasing after something that doesn't exist, investing all of your time, energy, and effort into this thing that's eventually going to fail you, you're going to become more irritable and you're going to become more frustrated. My third tip for you guys when you're quitting smoking weed would be to avoid complex tasks, especially in the first two weeks to the first month. You're going through withdrawals, right? Your brain is experiencing a state of dopamine and serotonin deficiency. And things are recal recalibrating. Things are rebalancing. And I know for myself, if I started to dive into things that were complex or things that were overly complicated, I would become super irritable and super frustrated. So I recommend sticking to activities that are simple and relatively mindless. mindless. Maybe this involves listening to podcasts, listening to audiobooks, watching some type of comedy on Netflix that makes you laugh, or just playing video games with your friends. When you first quit an addiction, your brain craves simplicity. Up to this point, your brain has been run through the mill. It's gone through a lot of complicated things over the last few weeks, months, or years, depending on how long you've been struggling with addiction. So keep it simple. Avoid tasks or things that frustrate you, especially during the first few weeks. Tip number three is avoid people that make you irritable. Avoid people who piss you off to the best of your ability. And I understand that a lot of people watching this channel have to go to work and maybe their coworkers piss them off or maybe their classmates piss them off or maybe even someone that you live with who you love is frustrating you when you first quit an addiction. Do your best to keep the conversation and keep the interaction to a minimal. If appropriate, you can tell this person, hey, listen, I'm not right right now. My body is rebalancing. I'm going through withdrawals. I'm going through a detox phase. And I think it's best we just don't speak for a while. Check back in though in two weeks and, and I'll get back to you. So now, my fifth tip for you guys would be remember to eat food. A lot of times if we struggled with active addiction, especially to THC or marijuana, we might be struggling with food intake or we might even be dealing with malnourishment. 
Now, this especially holds true if you're quitting nicotine products. If you're not eating food and you're not eating balanced, healthy meals throughout the day, your blood sugar levels are going to crash, and this actually makes people hangry. So you have to ask yourself, are you irritable because you're hungry? Are you irritable because you're dehydrated? Remember to eat healthy foods. Now, I would recommend avoiding eating an excessive amount of junk food because then you might just feel really crappy about yourself and that might actually make you more irritable. My That was my tip number five. So my sixth tip for you guys would be is focus on sleep. Sleep deprivation leads to increased irritability. Now, here's the reality of the situation. When you when you first quit weed, and I remember this like it was yesterday, you don't sleep too well. And when you are sleeping, chances are you're having like crazy vivid nightmares, often very, very realistic and scary dreams. So your sleep is going to suck at first. There's no way around this. But maybe this is where you get the opportunity to take a 20 to 30 minute nap during the day. Maybe this is where you get the opportunity to take a to take a day or two off of work and just lay in bed all day and play some video games and watch Netflix. I'm not saying that's that's exactly what you should do, but just rest when your body allows you to. This is not a time to be up all night watching Netflix. This is not a time to be up all night watching TikTok videos. We know that social media addiction is bad for our mental health, and now is not the time to be binge watching things through all hours of the night, further sleep depriving yourself, because that's going to lead to more and more irritability. Tip number seven for you guys is find a healthy outlet for your anger, for your irritability. For a lot of people, this comes in the form of exercise. Exercise releases endorphins. Endorphins are those things that make us feel good. And it's really important that we partake in activities that make us feel good when we first quit smoking weed because, again, we're in a state of serotonin and dopamine deficiency when we first quit nicotine or quit smoking weed. Most people, I can say, they love yoga. Yoga is like, it it hits all things at once. It gives you like a moving form of meditation. It helps you create an awareness of not only your physical uh, feelings, but also that, that mental health. Yoga does a really great job at that. And you're moving, you're releasing healthy endorphins. So I think yoga is awesome. A lot of people like going for walks. A lot of people like reading books. A lot of people enjoy playing video games, although yes, video game addiction can be a problem. Don't worry about that right now. Some people, like myself, just enjoy taking a hot shower and just relaxing, letting the water cool your body down, and then hopping into bed with a nice book or something like that. Partake in things that you enjoy doing. And remember, movement is good. If you have been laying in bed doing nothing for the last three or four days and you're becoming more and more irritable, you might need to get up and start moving. Tip number eight, talk to someone who understands. This would involve working with a therapist. It could involve working with an addiction recovery coach like myself here at our addiction mindset offices. Links are in the video description and pinned comment if you want to do that. But talk to someone. Talk therapy is so key and it really helps us to organize our emotions and this can help you realize whether or not you're having the appropriate response to a situation. So I cannot emphasize talk therapy enough. I think this is a great outlet when it comes to managing irritability after quitting smoking weed. Now my ninth tip for you guys would be come up with a mantra and if you don't have one, I have one for you. I'm calm, I'm collected, and I'm in control. The three C's, calm, collected, and control. I'm calm, I'm collected, and I'm in control. If you feel feel yourself getting irritable, just say, I'm calm, I'm collected, and I'm in control. Repeat that to yourself while at the same time doing some deep breathing five to 10 times, and then start to talk. Then start to 
feel your emotions, then start to develop a response to whatever the situation is going to be. Remember, when we're struggling with active addiction and we first quit, that addictive voice in our brain is going to do everything it can to try and suck us back in, okay? And one of those things is by blowing situations way out of proportion. And the goal of this is to make you irritable and to make you become easily stressed. Because a lot of people, if you're anything like me, stress was a major trigger for relapse. This is addiction's sneaky way of trying to suck you back in. So you have to be ready for situations that are going to make you irritable because that addictive voice is going to be blowing even the simplest of situations out of proportion. But hey, you guys are part of the addiction mindset family, so now you're aware of those situations. And finally, my 10th tip for you guys is learning how to apologize and apologizing with sincerity. And what do I mean by this? If you do blow up on someone, when you apologize to them, don't just say, I'm sorry, but go a step farther and say, I'm sorry for blank. I'm sorry for slamming the car door. I'm sorry for yelling at you about the dishes. I'm sorry for being rude. I should have. And then explain how you should have handled the situation better. This is much better than just simply saying I'm sorry and brushing the situation off. Because when you do this, you're going to think twice before you make that same irrational response again. Now, if you're quitting an addiction, I would love to let you guys, I would love to see you guys in the comments and I would love to hear from you. How do you cope with irritability and anger when you're going through this withdrawal symptom after quitting weed or quitting nicotine? I would love to know what works for you guys. So I'll be sure to see you in the comments below.